angry Antoine throws the stick at Remy, hitting the head. Watching him not move, Antoine panics and cautiously comes to check. He reaches out and touches him, realizes that he's out of breath. Terrified, Antoine thinks for a moment, then drags Remy to the edge of a rock crevice and pushes him into a deep ditch. Antoine returns home and removes the clothes when he committed the crime, then opens the door to face the anxious Remy's mother. She asked Antoine if he had seen Remy. Antoine shook his head but panicked inside. His family called the police, who took Antoine away the next day. In Antoine's defense, Remy was watching Remy's father shoot the puppy. At Remy's dad's request, the priest had to call everyone together to search for him tomorrow. Antoine is terrified at this point. If the search goes to the mountains, Remy's body will likely be found. He doesn't know what to do but to sneak up behind as they go up the mountain to check on the situation. Luckily, it was dark Remy was nowhere to be found and the officers called it a day. In the evening, lightning and thunder struck, flash floods erupted, even destroying houses outright. The town is in the grip of an unprecedented disaster. But for Antoine, it was good news because no one would ever set foot in the devastated forest again. No one would ever find his buried body. Fifteen years later, Antoine is licensed as a doctor and rarely comes back to see his mother because it doesn't like the town. After all, it's where he buried the biggest secret. When Remy's sister Amy courts him, unaware that Antoine is Remy's murderer, Antoine spends the night with her. Recently, the mountain forest has been undergoing massive logging. Remy's body will surface sooner or later. Sure enough, that day they found Remy's body, but Amy is pregnant and wants Antoine to stay. Antoine refuses and tells her to abort the baby. Amy threatens to take a DNA test if it doesn't stay in sue the hell out of Antoine. Antoine is afraid that Remy will be exposed. That day, he is approached by a doctor who says he knows his secret and will send a letter to the prosecutor's office. To silence the doctor, he buys his clinic. From then on, Amy becomes his wife and Remy's parents become his parents, the people that tried so hard to get rid of her now family. Antoine seemed to have escaped the law, but for the rest of his life, he will never be able to escape his conscience, will always live in the shadow of he killed Remy.